back. Quick little armor level check before we fight these raiders. Forty-three. It's a touch low, but the armor numbers all look fine. And I with three crossbowmen, I would expect the front lines to move towards us. Oh, modern. Right, shoot that nerd in the face, okay, in the leg, that'll do. I do not want to be in contact with that uh, pick. Nice hit. It's almost like you're a sadomasochist and you just love getting... Oh, shot! Shot with crossbow bolts. He's like, yes, the pain! Pain for Dove Cool! Oh, crossbow! Yes, Emery! Like, I mean, I know that the guns are all in fashion right now. Time to make crossbows great again. I love crossbows. I've always loved crossbows. Everyone says that. Stobby, he loves crossbows. People don't know that, but it's true. We have the best crossbows. Love the crossbows. Make our own crossbows right here in America. We can always say, we used to like crossbows before it was cool. Oh, that's what I love seeing. <sighs> oh yes, yeah, some of the crossbows might be bad. Look, there's good and bad crossbows on both sides. <laughs> when I'm putting my orange makeup on in the morning, I think about crossbows. Everyone knows that. <laughs> oh man. I never thought I'd live to be to see the day that I live in an African country and like the you know most controversial president. I'm not going to say worst. He's not the, well. He's not an African president because I mean we've we've had some amazing African presidents like Mandela obviously, but some of them are just clowns. Anyway, don't talk politics. <laughs> Yes. Damn it. What is that? Two misses in a row for Stobby? Uh, 83 miss. 83 miss. Sad. Like, I mean, so the central conceit of this uh, group that I've got is that they've all got fearsome. But it, it kind of feels like all the lads who don't use daggers that have fearsome. Fearsome doesn't really do much. If you want to break morale, there's just no better way than with a dagger. It's like two guys with daggers and no fearsome stat do more than the other five guys who have fearsome but don't have daggers. Good data, I suppose. We learned something. Oh. 
Uh, what's our dog situation? I think we might need a few more dogs. We should take note of that city up in the north. Uh, that has the dog training halls, because we can buy those. These northern dogs are brilliant. They really are good. Thunk, dead. Chop, dead. You kill my dog. Sacrifice you to Dove Cool. There's actually a pretty decent helmet there. That's 210, whereas these. That's, that's 200. But, like, what he's wearing here. This is like your bog standard entry level heavy armor. Shot. You motherfucker. Should we just let Bonefur bite him to death, get some vengeance? Nope. What's up, Devusa? Good dog. Revenge for the doggos. We got a war brand, that's great. I should actually start stockpiling war brands. Actually, at least two for my tanks because they have sword mastery and they will use these war brands incredibly well against spiders. Mm, round shield, armor, spear. Righto. At this stage, I think we pay any price for tools. We just have to have them. That little ruin there, you might think, let's go take a look in there. There might be undead in there. But that's a fight in the forest. So forget that noise. Forest fights on no fun. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, don't need that basic mail. Can switch that out. Uh, two ten and two ten. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. Now we've got to bear in mind he is going to get extra hit points from being cultist. Hey, Storming Eagle. Welcome, buddy. Thanks for the sub. Another loyal subject. It's nice, we're getting more loyal subjects and less bloody peasants. The range weapons are undersold. Yeah, I suppose so. But the thing is, like, the time period argument, unfortunately, kind of goes out the window as soon as the guns are introduced. I mean, I know that late medieval, like, around 1400s... I'm trying to remember my history, but... As soon as... Even the most rudimentary guns got introduced. Plate armor got made redundant very quickly. Uh, ranged lad. Crossbow and gun. We did say that we wanted bags and belts. It'll free up a little fatigue as well. We've got our defensive skill. We've got our move away skill. We've got berserk. Killing frenzy is nice. It's a luxury. Okay, so we've got three perks left. One at 10, two at, at 11. So we def I think we take bullseye now, this level, because then I can start taking pot shots at necromancers. So that's pretty important. And even on Zedog, I think. 
we'll take Bullseye before we take Berserk. Come, give me a patrol, please. Goblins. Ugh. Yuck. Oh really? The but but like that that sort of war bow isn't that like long bow? I remember seeing a, a Scala Grim uh, video where he tested arrows. Crossbows performed pretty well against plate as well. But that's under ideal circumstances, and I would imagine the vast majority of shots would just would uh, would just ping off. Uh, oh, thanks, Divisor. Yep. 416. We're in the wrong business. We should be producing tools. Make a fucking fortune. I'll have to check out Todd's workshop. Uh, for that type of stuff, I tend to watch Skull and uh, Scholar Gladiatoria. Four days to the north. I mean, I love the escort missions, but... I want to go straight for the undead. And th there's one over there. Let's go fight there. Yeah, Shadow Versity, he's got amazing information, but his delivery is a little intense for me. Like, looks at the camera and just starts going... I I I'll try to remember, the, I'll try to remember the, the name of the channel, but there was a guy who's actually a military historian, ancient history historian who did uh, breakdowns of Game of Thrones battles and uh, his his critique of the long night battle was so spot on like there's so much more could have been done but I promise I won't get off another one of my Game of Thrones rants it's 10 polearm lad I kind of want to get him to level 11 real quick. The Archibus. Remember the Archibus? That is the mounted handgun, isn't it? That's when they, like, they used to like keep it on like a stick and then like aim it like that. Uh, no modern. We need to get a whole bunch of crafting materials i think the respec potion that's pretty much one of every single crafting material in the game including uh, uh octopus skin kraken that's what i'm thinking of kraken's the word i'm looking for uh, this old smooth brain of mine Ooh. Vanart, two-handed flail. Show him the darkness. Oh, baby. Righto. Where is he? Vanart. Oh, yes. Yes, it's the Iron Lungs lad. Who wants this? Who hasn't, who hasn't been given a, a brother yet? Hmm. Do I actually make him a flail, though? I don't think he's not going to have the accuracy. Saint Najora or Jolly Rogers. Title Jolly Rogers, no. I think I might actually have to have to give him a fast adaptation. I'm also interested to see how it interacts with uh, Lash. Not so much Pebbles, Walrus. Uh, we will turn you into either a backup lad, and if I'm honest, like we, we can level you up to level 11 and see where your stats go, because 78 at level 11 is very low for Arbus. Also, Reinhardt might not convert because pebbles, we can still make you two-handed flail or mace, depending on what we need. 
In fact, let, let's make you the priority mace guy. And then we'll just have Reynard as like a generic two-hander. Not really expendable yet. So this is taken, that's taken. Reynard is next up, but he needs to convert first before he gets a, a viewer name. Necromancer, lots of armored, some heroes and some ghosts. That is intense. That is one hell of a fight. So what is my best of the best? It unquestioningly includes Wolfgang. I think I want to reap these nerds with my polearm lads. And the shield breaker is probably fine. Those lads are also probably fine. Fuck like that. Fuck off, bot. Okay, so we can actually go in now because all the armor that we have here is all fully repaired. We maybe have any dogs kicking about there, no we don't. Everyone who's supposed to wear heavy armor, what armor are you wearing? Yeah, everybody pretty much has reinforced mail. Excellent. Uh, ghosts. There's loads of ghosts in this fight. Get your whips out, boys. Actually, Stobby, take out Grizzly Backstabber. Wolfgang, I think, actually should use the sword lance I mean as, as as great as the bullhook is in fact we could take take both out I think I want to save before this fight this is a pretty intense fight actually let's hope we get a favorable battle setup okay it's not full mountains We know there's a necromancer, so we have to sprint forward, unfortunately. Get him! There he is. So one, two, three, four, wait. Uh, he needs to be... Crossbow, pole, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. And back because he's gonna go there you are gonna go there and I'd be one back correct one two three four no one down because I still got to be in range of the raised morale yes okay learning dagger lad goes there tank goes there so polo lad goes in that position And I think, by, what, by my placement now, I'll pretty much ensure that everybody is within the Ray's morale range. And therefore the ghost, uh, the ghost fear is a bit mitigated, it's quite mitigated. Have you guys noticed how irritating it is now on YouTube, the second you release a video, you immediately get like two or three spam accounts uh, that are, it's like a picture of a hot chick and she goes, ooh, I love you. And then it's a link to a porn site. Ugh. YouTube. Ha <laughs> shot. Zedog's not here to take any shit. Uh, all the front line, just wait. We've still got Mod, and he's going to have a big uh, rally here. That should go quite well. Uh, 
So I need my flail there to swing in a circle. He can actually move up now. Right, Martin, no pressure, but this is... They raise morale. That's going to pretty much determine how this fight goes. Fuck off. The Crimson Fang, the cannons are great situationally. They average a lot of the time. Like just, you know, being able to hit so many enemies is of course amazing. But like their damage numbers are super underwhelming. reaping there Wolfgang nice shot uh, hmm the proximity to Arbus means that I can't have him swing around in a circle so I go there But these ghosts need to fuck off, seriously. You lads need to start whipping them. We should have a bit of fast adaptation. Excellent. Stacking up. Excellent. Nice. Another fighting axe. Excellent. Lads, good job. Cool, everyone's morale is pretty much steady. We might be in with a shot for a legendary in this kind of location. We fought some pretty scary enemies. I'm just trying to think what's on our shopping list, weapons and armor wise, that's non legendary. So for the light armor guys, we need more Sally helmets. So there's two needed for the dagger guys and two needed for the pole arm lads. So we need four more Sally's and four more uh, noble male. That's of course expensive and quite difficult to get our hands on. Do we just shoot at our own guy? Of course, because he dodges. He's a Chad. I very much look forward to getting my hands on a legendary cannon. But more than anything, what I want is, is a legendary two-handed flail. And legendary two-handed mace. That's going to be sick as well. The legendary two-handed maces look amazing as well. A lot of them are like chrome. Uh, I thought we might want to do one, but I, I don't think so, no. For, for us, it's all about the flails. Flails and daggers and maces. You know, cultist weapons. How did they nerf the days? I don't recall reading about how they nerfed days. Oh, what, did they lower the amount of damage reduction? It used to be 33, that's 25 now, isn't it? Well, still, that, that, that's still amazing. 30% is still really good, you know? Okay, how's morale? Everybody's morale is steady. Do you guys remember back in the day when using Rally would actually increase people's morale? And then you'd have your bannerman just like hide in a bush and play the trumpet during the whole battle. Those are the days.
It certainly fills their fatigue bar. Oh yeah, against the, the Orc Warriors. Well, we are going to have one two-handed flail guy in this setup. Nice, Orbis. That's kind of performance I want. But speaking of fighting Orc Warriors, the Humble Dagger is still pretty damn good against them. If I could see the stats of total damage done, by all of my characters, I have no doubt my two dagger guys would be at the top. Whoopsie. Puncture. Incredible skill. A man splitter on day three, wow. Well, I'm guessing the brother you gave it to would have to use uh, recover every second turn. Because holy shit, the fatigue cost of a man splitter. And how sad are you when that man splitter misses? What's up, suck my toes? No, 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 no. Warhammer. Well, this is too low fantasy for Warhammer, I suppose. I just love Warhammer. Yeah, I love Warhammer. It's doubly a pity that Necromunda is in the rough shape that it's in. I mean, if they can just make a Mordheim that isn't a buggy mess with, with a broken random number generator, I'll be very happy. Both. I like them both. Look, any game with orcs in, the, uh, the Warhammer style orcs, I'm going to like. You know, they all sound like cockneys and they all sound like lads who would be fun to go drink with. I seem to remember when I played uh, Dawn of War 2, I think it was, the Necrons were a lot of... Was it, no, it was regular Dawn of War, the Necrons were a lot of, a lot of fun to play with. And the Tyranids were great too. Still no legendaries, 21 tools though, on this map, that is damn near priceless. Uh, whose hat needs to get painted? There you go. Wait, there's a heavy armor hat that we can paint. That one. So Astros, from what I've seen, the brain dead AI is the main issue. Is it Astros or Astro Ice? Well, you're Astros. That's what I'm saying. Raging Fairy Shieldbreaker, let's go Berserk at nine. He's got both his defensive skills. Three perks left. Let's go Killing Frenzy at ten. And then two others at eleven. I think rotation. And maybe fast adaptation. Mm, no, not really. Could just go fearsome. Just to match everyone else. No, oh god, I love these fighting axes. Everyone using heaters. Oof, corrupted save files, but I mean, like, it, it's not an excuse, but sadly, corrupted save files is uh, a pretty standard with a lot of new games. But if, if they are going to have corrupted save files, then I feel like they really do have to make an effort to roll out an autosave feature. 
And honestly, what game these days don't have autosave features? Anything turn-based should have autosave. Uh, can we run straight into this fight? I think we can. Level 12 polearm, he can sit out. He's fully leveled. Level 10. Let's see. Probably after this fight, he may well level up fully. But why is he using a cleave? Why didn't he use a sword lance? That's strange. I got that wrong, looks like. Decent, decent little fight that one, that last one was. Two tier two crossbows, yeah, so we've got to be a little respectful. Modern, aka Pincushion. A lot of kite shields is annoying. But there's also a lot of exposed heads. Zedog, have you got the bullseye? Not yet. Oh, good hit. Is it worth putting shield up? I think so. Uh, one, two, three, space. There. With a tier 2 crossbow, he should probably use Indom. Well, Martin, in that respect, you're a true leader. Wouldn't it be cool for the cultists if you could have some sort of perk when your guys take damage, you know? Like you get some sort of stacking damage buff when you get damaged. Like a sadism type of thing. A uh, masochism, sorry, not sadism. Like you like getting hurt. Be interesting. That's a scary axe and crap body armor. That's like the worst bandit leader we can get. I don't even need his hat particularly. Fabricated, I need to use the three headers a bit more, but for me, it comes more down to the enemy type that I'm fighting. If there's any kind of armor involved, I think this, the, the one headed flail uh, is superior. If you're hitting unarmored targets, the three headed flail is absolutely devastating because it's got higher base damage. Because uh, I mean, it's 30 to 70, but it's over three hits. So if you're hitting a battleforged target, I mean, you're not doing a whole lot with a one headed flail, but if you're hitting a battleforged target with a three headed flail, you do nothing. Also, um, my flail guys are headhunters, and there's a bit of weird interaction with the three-headed flails. Average gain for three-star for, th for three, three star ranged skill or ranged defense? So, on ranged skill, ranged offense, three stars is four to five every level. Ranged defense, three to four every level. If you got three stars. Oh! Up, Sitor Freck. What, what's up with these spears? Whoa, 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 what is this? What is this? This battle has unfolded in quite a weird way. I really want to get up there. If I knock him up the line, there we go. Oh, in the 
stuff, throat! Uh, use exclamation mark BB mods. There's a link to the mods that I'm using in my Discord. But lo too long didn't read of the mods I'm using is faster with pause. Um, this weapon switching mod, which lets you auto switch to items in your inventory. It's an amazing mod. Uh, I don't think I don't have the glowing eyes mod. What else am I using? Uh, oh yes, the tryout expanded. Using tryout gives you full information. And I can't think of anything else I'm using right now. Don't oh, you mother owl! Oh come on! Ugh, crossbows, man. Our battle line's getting all switched up. Was what ruined that. Comedy death sounds. I would quite enjoy voice packs like you have in XCOM. Like if you can assign a brother a voice pack. Like if some of these guys could be spouting off, you know, Captain Zap Brannigan voice lines. Or Schwarzenegger voice lines. In fact, just voice lines at all would be amazing, wouldn't it? We're going to stabby stab there, so I think we send the flail up to the high ground. I don't think I want to be surrounded by that many lads there. Crossbows, man. Love them. Love me a good crossbow. Marge will clean that up. But Marge from The Simpsons. Hmm. The Yoda death sound from... Okay, I've got to find out what that sounds like because I, I don't know offhand what that sounds like. Oh god, Raging Fury, eating that crossbow every time. Oh, Homer goes, Marge will clean that up. Okay, cool. <laughs> I think uh, in, in one of the previous XCOM runs through, we had the Schwarzenegger voice pack, and when he shoots the ice grenade, he's like, Hey everyone, chill. It's one of those glorious uh, Mr. Freeze voice lines. But in this current XCOM playthrough, I'm loving the Zap Brannigan voice line the most. When I'm in command, every mission's a suicide mission. Yeah, Raging Fury's taken enough crossbow bolts. He's like, fuck this, I'm out. That's interesting. So even though it's in range, I can't hit him because of the bush. It's fair enough. <laughs> it's one of his best lines, but like a, a lot of his more subtle lines kind of get forgotten where he's like It's me the man with no name captain Zepp Brennigan <laughs> the velour fog <laughs> uh, Sex Alexia <laughs> very sexy learning disability We should have used the flail headhunter ability there. Oh well. <laughs> Shampagan. 
Oh, I didn't know you were such a coin as sir. <laughs> and the whole episode with the death by snoo snoo was one of the best episodes ever. God, that show was good. I need to, to rewatch Futurama. The two-handed flail, like it's it's okay. I mean, it does look sexy, but wait until we get a named one or an orc uh, two-handed flail. What I want to see is a patch where they bring in more named orc variants, because currently you can get orc cleavers and I think orc axes named, but no two-handed named orc weapons. Off with your head! And that little animation there of the decapitation is one of the pleasures of using an all axe team. You see a lot of heads flying off. <laughs> there must be a montage of all of Zap Brannigan's lines on YouTube. I know what I'm going to be looking for later when I'm done with the stream. Good haul. Cash money. So what were we doing? We were looking for more undead. I think going further south is not going to be very undead rewarding, but... God. Tools. Uh, yeah. Southern houses. Oh yeah, the famed Danaxes are nice. The Danaxes just could do with a bit more base damage. And we have two shield breakers, so if we get some famed Danaxes, I'll be extremely pleased. Um, if we have the money, we should just shut up buy another sword lance. What price is that? Oh, 716, nice. They, they are paying quite nicely. Let's unload a lot of stuff here. This music, it reminds me of the Rome music. Alchemist, Potion of Knowledge, Night Owl, Elixir. I wish I could see the recipes even for the things where I don't have any of the components. Like I want to be able to see what the components are for everything. Where is this going to? Three days to the north? Mm. Drive off nomads. Absolutely, I'll do that for you. Uh, I'm not sure what we're after in terms of lads. Not really anyone. We, we kind of have plenty of lads. Awesome. Bald Warlock, level 11. I really don't want to give him plus one on melee defense. Okay, so. He's a light armor wearing polearm user. So, with quick hands, which I think justifies bags and belts. Because then he can even start combat with a crossbow. And killing frenzy. I don't think I particularly need any of the other stuff. He's not going to be rotating himself onto the front line to help people. So, footwork. Mm. What did we go for here on Wolfgang? Oh, yeah. We took Backstabber erroneously, which we didn't need to. Do I want bags and belts? It lets me shoot a crossbow and it lets me carry two different types of pole arms. And it lets me carry a support item as well, so I think it's probably worth it. Okay, see it like that. Honestly, once I buy another sword lance, we can actually get rid of the war scythes, because the war scythes are just crapper of sword lances. Uh, net. Support item. 
And he's only got 40 range skill, but you'd be surprised. With even 40 range skill, you hit more often than you might think. And there's no need to even level it up, you know? It's just he can shoot off crossbow bolts pretty much for free until enemies get in range. Quick hands. I think we want Killing Frenzy. Yeah. Okay, so who are we going to level up next? Probably the Flail and Mace lads. Could they use axes? No, they don't have the fatigue for it. Quick bandages check. We bought how many tools? I think it was four. Wait. Okay, YouTube folks, that's your episode for the day. When we come back, we're heading south. Travel from Nomads at Dusty Walls. Uh, there's a repairing coming along. Good little episode. Uh, I wanted to stay in the south, but I also wanted to do Undead. Maybe we finish this mission, stock up on some food, and just sort of crisscross like this, exploring the whole map. I expect we'll find some more Undead when we're over here. I kind of wish that I could know what enemy type is in there. I know there's a mod for that, but I don't know if I want to install that mod. Uh, 